Welcome to today's vlog. You guys see my crazy self tanner. It's mostly on this hand. Yeah, that's been like that for like three days. It's currently 11.30 in the morning. Cove usually eats lunch at 11.30, but she didn't want lunch today and she asked to go take a nap. I think it's like the second time she's done that. What did she do? Just like point up to her room? Yeah, she started pointing up there and then I said, do you want to go take a nap? And she was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I had her food like in the microwave. Was yeah, Parker was making her lunch. I was like, oh, but I'm making your food. Let's let's eat lunch, then you can. And she's like, no, no. Yeah, we were like, do you want lunch? And she's like, no, no. And then we we're like, do you want a snack? Do you want anything? She said, no. And then we said, do you want a nap? And she said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's skipping lunch today. She'll eat it a little bit later, I guess. But she did have a lot of snacks. So I'm not worried about that. But right now, well, in this vlog, we're going to tell you guys basically the hint. <laughs> that we gave. So if you guys have watched from our first pregnancy, we gave a couple hints that I was pregnant when I was pregnant with Cove. And this time we were like, hey, let's do that again. But before we even had a chance to, there was like so many comments of like, I know you're pregnant. When are you gonna share that you're pregnant? There's no way she's not pregnant. So last time we did those hints and then we made a video like explaining all the hints and there was like a couple of them. And there's a few things that weren't intentional last time. And I feel like it was kind of the same way this time. So we kind of only gave like one. Should I just do it right now? I was gonna yeah. say, it for like right later in the vlog, but one hint. making a homemade tripod. Parker's gonna unload the dishwasher. That's something that still makes me like feel kind of sick, but I am feeling uh -huh. better. I'm not lying. So hints that we gave. So the only actual hint where we intentionally were like trying to give you guys a hint was the how I met your mother thing. If you guys watched our last pregnancy that was actually one that was on accident i was vlogging and i had been watching how i met your mother so i paused it to like turn on the camera and whatever and it was literally a shot of lily finding out that she's pregnant so she's like looking at a pregnancy test so a bunch of people last time were like oh my gosh that has to be a hint and we were like no it, that wasn't meant to be but that's like so funny because that would have been a really good hint so this time that was the only hint that we actually gave and i'm pretty sure we did it just in the vlog right before we actually announced everything yeah. so before the first time we like kind of had stuff like the couple weeks leading up to it but this time we literally just it was like right before we posted and that was the only one so that is all for today's vlog thank you guys for watching so parker actually did it he like had it on the tv last time it was paused but you just like had it on a scene where they were like finding out they're pregnant or something yeah so it's a little bit different but yeah, it was just that scene and i think i just ended the vlog yeah it was like at the very end of a, of a vlog but that one was the only thing that we actually did on purpose and a bunch of you guys caught on and were like oh my gosh they did this last time like it's a Official. So that one was fun, but I wrote down a couple other things that people had like asked about that they thought were hints. First one, I just got, I think this is why people started like assuming that I was pregnant, but it's because I was not really posting on Instagram very much. That wasn't intentional. Like I just didn't feel good. So I wasn't posting very much. This was like kind of one, but not really. And it was when I said I wanted potato chips. There's a uh, bunch of comments yeah. like, I, knew, I was like, why, why would you eat potato chips? Yeah. And I was confused kind of. Yeah, we were like at a like little drink place right next to the store and I was like, wait, I really want potato chips and we left it in the vlog and I think it's the way that I said it too because I like said it kind of quiet. Yeah. And then I came home and I made um, like homemade ranch and dipped potato chips in it, which is such a good snack and everyone was like, she would never eat that if she wasn't pregnant. I think which that's right though. I, I would, but it's just like, but you wouldn't be like Let's not a that. normal thing that I would go eat. Right. So that was mm. like, we left that in there, but it wasn't meant to be like, this is a hint, but... I see why people thought that was. Another one, well, okay, so these two, covering up my stomach and wearing baggy clothes. I mean, again, that's not meant to be intentional, but I definitely was doing that, especially in, I don't know what vlog it is. You'll have to like put in the footage, but it's the one where we started the vlog like late, like sitting on the couch and I was filming and then I handed the camera to Parker and I like touched my stomach and then I sat up and I was wearing like a big romper thing or like a jumpsuit because you could see like, my belly's not huge or anything, but you could see like a little tiny baby bump. Yeah, so like Aspen was saying, you woke up at when? It's 3.40 and I never went back to sleep. I woke wow. up at 5 and went and played some soccer with uh, some friends and I am, like I feel sick. So a lot of people caught on to that too, but again, we weren't actually like trying to give a hint with that. A lot of people also commented that I was out of breath, which I for sure am. So I feel like that's one that's a little bit obvious. And then a lot of people thought that our cheese on a stick date was a hint. Which it's not. 
We love cheese on a stick. <laughs> we would go there like anytime. I always want that food. It's so good. But we did a vlog where we just like went on a date there and eat food and answer questions, I think. So yeah, those were like what people commented about. But again, the only intentional one was the How I Met Your Mother one. So there you guys have it for anybody who's commented, like do another video explaining what hints you did. I feel like next time, like for our third baby, I don't think I'll do any hints. I don't know. That's really far away though. I want our next two to be at least like three years apart. Really? Don't you? I guess, yeah. Is that- We'll have two years apart and then three and then two again. I don't know, I just feel like once you have your third one, you're just like outnumbered. So I wanna make sure Cove is old enough to like be a little bit responsible. Let's see, how old would she be in three years? Like five? Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of small. Three kids under five? We'll see yeah. what we end up with. But anyways, what else do we have on the to-do list for the day? I need to go finish a video uh, for my main channel. I just posted, I'll link it down below, but this weekend I posted a first trimester update and bump update so you guys can watch that. And then I also, we filmed this one a while ago, but we filmed testing old wives tales to see like if it's like says it's gonna be a boy or a girl. So that we filmed before we found out anything. So I think I'm gonna put that up like hopefully this weekend. I need to get a couple things from my graphic designer girl. So I need to email her about that today. Usually I feel like we don't vlog on Mondays that much anymore because it's when we like write out all of our stuff for our to-do list for the week and then just try to like get a bunch of stuff done that like doesn't really include vlogging. Like shoot anything we have to shoot for the week for like Instagram or whatever. So Mondays are like, there's a lot of stuff going on but it's hard to film because it's like, we just like need to knock stuff off the list. So we don't always vlog because it's like we're, I don't know, not doing exciting things. Okay, I got one thing done so far. I made an appointment to get my nails done tomorrow. Did you start the laundry? I did. I was gonna order groceries. We're actually leaving town this week. We also went up to Park City for the weekend, which was super fun. It was Lauren's birthday, so we had a few friends that like went up and we rented a cabin. So uh, that was way fun. And it was actually our first time ever leaving Cove overnight. Together? Together, yeah. She's always really good, but I was worried. She's like such a good sleeper too, but I was worried that she would like have a hard time falling asleep, but she literally slept so good there and did so great and had so much fun. So that was really fun to do, but now we're back at home, just getting stuff done. We also have a Thrive Market Box. They are sponsoring it today's video. So I'm going to show you guys what we got. We got it a couple weeks ago and I've been saving it for this video. And so I kind of forgot what I ordered and I'm so excited to see what we got because we always get the best stuff. Okay, so I have our box right here and I'm gonna show you guys what we got. So if you haven't seen any of our other videos with Thrive Market, they basically are just the best. It's so easy to just go on their website, look at everything and you can actually sort it. I usually like to get pretty much like all vegan stuff. So there's like a vegan button or like paleo, gluten-free, all that stuff. So it's easy to shop for exactly what you're looking for. Wait, so they have just like regular normal stuff? Yes. What? Parker's not aware they have the regular normal stuff because I always, we gotta get some stuff normal stuff. Time. I like to get vegan stuff, but the box and its contents are 100% recyclable. Our membership sponsors one for a free family, teacher, student, veteran, or first responder in need. And they actually have two different membership options. So the one month membership is $9.95 a month, and then they have a 12 month membership for $5 a month. So it's pretty affordable. And again, it's literally just like one of my favorite companies to work with. Their goal is to make healthy living easy and affordable for every family. The products are from brands that support fair trade, Banji. GMOs, prioritize sustainability. So overall, they're just really awesome. Cove loves every single snack we get from Thrive Market. Yeah, she does. I got her, I get her like a lot of healthy snacks from here, especially cause right now she's into like chips and stuff. So I wanna make sure she's eating stuff like that, that it's just like a little bit of a healthier version. So actually I think she's gonna love these. Her favorite snack right now is say, pretzels. Yeah, she them. asks for pretzels every second of the day. So I got her these peanut butter filled pretzels, which these are so good. I know me and Parker also were gonna Love these but I'm super excited to try these they also have an app you can shop on or I usually just like to do their website because I don't know I just like to see it on a bigger screen I guess but orders over $49 are shipped for free and I feel like I get so many things for the amount of money that I spent I usually spend like around $100 and I feel like I get so much stuff so something I like to get are beans we eat tons of beans I got pinto beans I got refried beans. I got organic garbanzo beans. I got literally so many beans. Beans are just like good for protein and stuff, especially for me and Cole, because we don't eat meat usually. I also love their taco seasoning. I feel like I get this almost every single time. So I have that. And then something I do get literally every time is Smart Sweets. And guess who likes candy? Cove. So this is a good candy option. It's like gluten-free, non-GMO, free from sugar alcohols. So these are Sour Blast Buddies. I also love 
the peach rings. So I got three bags of those. I also got some popsicles. It's getting like a little bit warmer. It's still like freezing one day and then super hot the next day. So yeah. I'm like, summer's here. And then the next day it literally snows, but Today we likes popsicles. Freezing weather outside. Yeah, it's almost May and it's literally freezing. Oh wait, another thing of garbanzo beans. What is this? Apple cider vinegar. I feel like I use this in like a random recipe, so I got another one of these. Next one, I feel like I also get this every time, and it is their avocado oil spray. We use this a ton. I also got this Dry Market Organic Marinara Tomato Sauce. Something that we'll do for Cove, like an easy lunch is like lentil noodles or chickpea noodles, and then just some kind of sauce and veggies. I think I got some noodles. This is where I usually get like my um, noodles like this, like these ones have a bunch of veggies in them, like broccoli, lentils, kale, spinach. So I'll like make this, and I usually will just do the whole box at a time, and then it'll last for like two or three lunches. So we just put the leftovers in the fridge. I also got olive oil, got two bags of pretzels. I feel like a lot of their things, like if you get it, it comes in a pack of two, which is really nice. I also got some vegan parmesan. So we need to figure out what to put this on. I've had this before, but we need to make like a pasta or something. I also got. Coconut aminos, which I think tastes kind of like soy sauce. I'm pretty sure I've had this before. I think it's like a healthier option. I also got some canned garbanzo beans. We eat a lot of those. Himalayan pink salt and whole black peppercorns. So that is everything that we have. I'm gonna have Thrive Market linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. I highly, highly recommend it. And our link will get you guys 25% off of your first order and also a free gift. And again, they have like different membership options so you can figure out what is best for you. So that link is down below. I'm gonna finish putting away, we actually already have some of these in our freezer. So I'm gonna put these in the pantry until Cole finishes them. I think now I'm gonna go film my main channel video. If I didn't say I was doing that already, I'm just filming a Q&A. It's nap time. So Monday's nap time, we always are like busting everything out, trying to get everything done really quick. Can you say good morning? <laughs> Don't do this now. Good morning. How was your nap? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Do you want a snack? <laughs> yes, okay. I got you a new snack. She just woke up. 2.30. Mama. Mama, that is mama. Hello. I got you some new pretzels. Do you want to try? <laughs> it's a pretzel. And guess what's inside? Peanut butter. <gasps> you and mom can try at the same time, okay? Ready? Mmm. One, two, three, four more, okay? We gotta put them away, because guess what? We didn't eat any lunch. Dad made it for you. Well, you took a nap, huh? Yeah. Dad made you corn and a burrito and oranges. Does that sound good? Yeah. Corn? Yesterday we were at my mom's, and Cole literally, no joke, ate four corn on the cobs. Like the first one I cut all the corn off because I thought she'd want it that way and she ate all of it. And then she saw me eating mine, so she took it. So then I got another one because she took mine, and then she took my second one, and then she ate half of it and then she dropped it. So then there was only one left. I was like, we might as well just give it to her. She ate four. Huh, you love corn. So I'm gonna heat this up for you so you can eat your lunch, okay? What do you wanna do today with mama? Should we do an activity or something? Pretty much finished with all my work for the day. I need to shoot like one more thing, but I wanted to shoot it outside. I need to go shoot an outfit picture, but it's raining and it's freezing. That's why I have my coat on. So I can shoot it if it's cold, but I don't want to shoot it in the rain. Is that good? Is it yummy? Yeah. How many do you have? One, two, two yeah. pretzels. Kobe finished her lunch and we are playing in the basement. The basement is so nice, guys. We literally come down here every day and Cove will play for like at least an hour, I feel like. I, I was gonna say, I feel like we need to bring attention back to Dwellify. They did a great job on the basement. We love it so much. You're gonna see an end reveal from them later on. Yeah, but we have the couch, the nugget couch. Cove loves this. Totally worth the money, I think. There are like other dupes, which I didn't realize, but I'm happy that we have this one because I like the color. There's other what? Like dupes for it that I think What's are cheaper. Dupe? It's like if this is 300 bucks, a dupe would be similar in like 150 or something. Like a cheaper version. Oh, what? I have never heard a dupe. I've never heard that term, ever. It's two words, a, uh, like a dupe, dupe. Oh, a dupe? Yes. I've never heard that. 
Oh, I guarantee everyone in the comments has. <laughs> Tell me if you guys haven't, but there was a little incident with this cushion last night, so we had to wash that and this, but... Oh, are you okay? <laughs> we'll have to show them how you jump off of everything, huh? And it's so fun. Cool. You love it. You gotta hop off for a minute. <laughs> Whoa, you are crazy. Come show me how you go down the slide. What? <gasps> Ready? Whoa, Dad's gonna do it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Can you try? Do you want to do it? Oh, you want to pull? Whoa! <laughs> Hello, guys. It is the next day. I just went and got my nails done. I just did white again. I did my nails and my toes. I always do white dip, and it just goes with everything, and it's super cute. And then I actually went to Ulta. And we're going to Arizona soon, so I needed some sunscreen. We're gonna have two days at the pool, so I got one thing of this, and I hope it will last for all three of us for two days. So like sunscreen goes so fast, but I got oh, two of these chapsticks. We probably have like 10 of these. They're the Burt's Bees pomegranate, and they're so good. So we literally have one like in my car, in Parker's truck, in my purse, in the diaper bag, in my nightstand, like all over. And I swear there was a new place that I was thinking I need to put one of these. So I got two of them and then I can't think of like where it would need to go, but it's always good to have extras. And I also got a new eyelash curler. I have had the same one probably since high school. I don't know how often you're supposed to get new ones, but if you guys remember back in the day, I don't even know how to like say the brand right, but it's like the Shu Uemura one or whatever. That eyelash curler was the thing to have. So I've literally had it probably since high school, which is so many years ago. And I feel like it's breaking down on me. My eyelashes like keep getting stuck kind of weird. So I went to Ulta, I got this Shiseido one, which I'm actually gonna try right now. Usually on most days, unless I'm like shooting a bunch of stuff, I don't actually put makeup on because I don't feel like it, but I do always curl my eyelashes because they're so straight. So I've been meaning to go and get a new one of these and I looked up the reviews on Ulta, like on their website and this one had like 500 reviews and most of them were really good. So here's the before. Did I even say? I feel like maybe I didn't finish my sentence. I can't remember. But when I, so I, the point of me saying I don't really wear makeup most days Hi. is that I do st still curl my eyelashes because I feel like it just changes everything. Okay, if you guys can even tell the difference. Here's what it looks like after. They're definitely curly. So I feel like I curled them good, but I don't know if this is the best shape for my eye because I feel like I have like really round, like big eyes. This is a little bit flat, so I'm gonna keep trying it out and see. I like that the other one, I feel like it's a little more like curved, so it fits my eyes better. But anyways, um, did I already say that we're gonna go get boba? I can't remember what I talked about already, but Lauren found this new boba place. So we decided to go out for a little afternoon treat and we're gonna go and try it. I'll also show you guys my outfit while I'm waiting for Lauren to text me back about if we're driving separate or together. Here's my little mini, mini baby bump. Have on this cute dress from Luke and Gray. I love dresses like this for when you're pregnant or even if you're not pregnant, they're super cute, but it's actually like kind of quite a bit longer, but I like to wear it bunched up like this. So I'll link this down below for you guys. This is where Luma has been sleeping at night. She used to sleep with us and then she just always sleeps like right in my leg so I wasn't sleeping very good. So now she sleeps out here. We put her in her kennel for a little bit and she didn't mind that, but one night instead of her kennel, we kept it over here because we didn't really have a good place for it. We would like stick it in the office during the day and then at night we would like put it over here. But one night she just like came out to this instead and so we were like, okay, you can sleep there if you want to. So Parker every night makes her a little bed. And you don't hate it, huh? You probably miss snuggling with me, but I think that we both sleep better. All right, we're going on a field trip. Field trip to the boba store. Mama! Hello, baby. Sitting in big girl chair. You look cute, sis. This place is called Kung Fu Tea in Draper. Can you feel us in Salt Lake? Mama. Mama! That is Mama. That's Coco. Say hi, Coco. And Dada. Their menu was really big, so yeah, Parker there's a got ton of stuff. yeah Parker got a pina colada slush and I got a matcha one, but it was matcha red bean. I don't know what exactly that means, but I hope it's good. So you're gonna have some of Daddy's. It will be so good. It's gonna be good. Dad will help you put in the straw. Parker got a pina colada one. It's like just a slushy thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. You want to try? Yeah. We do need napkin to show Tastes like yes. a pina colada. Is that so good? Wow. Do you like it? Yeah, that's good, huh? Is it good? That's so yummy. This is what I got. So Coven Parker got pina colada slush. I got matcha slush oh, with the pearls. Okay, drink the straw. Good job. Mm. It's really good. Is it's it very good. Mochi? It's very matcha-y, but it's very good. Mm. What did you get? I don't know, this cocoa cream. Lauren got, Lauren got three. I needed to because try them all. Because a little extreme. I needed to There's try two of them. The but Parker's gonna try mine. Parker doesn't like the pearls. I, I like think they're pearls. so fun. Black licorice too. Oh, yum. No. Is it oh, good? Is it? So good. Yeah. I don't even know what flavor it is. Mm. What does it say? It's this cocoa cream cap oh. or something. Yeah, mine's matcha. So good. All right, so we are back from, oh no, from getting boba. Let's wipe your hands, Kay. Parker went golfing and, oh no, it's still dirty. I'll help you. Wanted to show you guys what Cove got into. We had two of these leftover gingerbread kits and she found them. So I got it out for her to do. I didn't actually make a house, but she's been over here decorating. So I figured that was a nice activity to do before bed. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out Thrive Market. Links down below. They are the best. That is all. So we will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. You cute. Oh, you cute. You have a frosting hand. You cute. Okay. Love you. Bye bye.